Hey, we're back on the grind, and today we're going to be telling a story, a story that happened over this summer, and this starts so like a month and a half ago, about how someone that did not like me, named named Bradley, that's what we're calling him, called the cops on me for moving a rope. I'm not kidding. I mean, he might have been bluffy, he might not have been, we're not sure, but I hope you guys enjoy the story. So yeah, there's this neighborhood pool in my neighborhood where all the neighborhood kids hang out. It's fun. There are a bunch of people there. You know, it's just a good time. So I go over there with my friend. Like I got my squad here, Ryan, Timmy, and Josh. Those are fake names. And we're just called chilling, you know. The squad's there. We're all, we're all hanging out. We're about to get some doves. Uh, on, not on Fortnite because it's a pool. But, you know, we're about to... Uh. So yeah, there's this rope. That uh, it, it serves a very important purpose. I don't know if you know this, but there's a very important purpose for ropes and pools, and it's to separate the deep end from, wouldn't you guess it, the shallow end. There are only two ends in this pool. I know some pools have like a uh, deep end, little deep, little less deep end, deep-ish end, shallow end, more shallow end, mid medium end other end you know it got tons of ends this one only has two ends it's got the deep end and the other end and they're separated by it's very uh steep drop it's not too steep though like a kid if he was walking he was like he wasn't paying attention the rope wasn't there he's just kind of walking he noticed that the ground starts going down at about a 45 degree angle so yeah that's why this story makes even less sense but yeah so we're all just chilling on this rope. You can, it sags a lot for some reason because it's way too big for the pool. So we can kind of like pull ourselves on it, like pretend we're climbing down. You know, I can make it across in one breath. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So we decide, uh, hey, this is interesting. What if we bring this to the deep end? Because this pool is not only used for recreation. It's also used for my neighborhood swim team. I know, we got a swim team. It's so cool. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cool. Anyway, uh, what were you we talking about? Oh, yeah, the, the, the hooks. So there are hooks. You know, like, like hook one, hook two, hook three, hook four, all the way to hook 16. There's probably less than that, but you know, whatever. So we kind of like hook it, and uh, so one side stays in the wall, you know, separating it, and the other one goes across, and it kind of like cuts off a corner, turning this into like kind of a hexagon shape. It's weird. It's cool. We like cut off a corner of it. Have you ever seen a lighter? It kind of looked like that, and the deep end was basically the corner that we cut off, you know, you know? Yeah, and uh, we're, we're just chilling on it again. It takes like five minutes, and then Mr. Bradley, oh man, Bradley. He, he, he's a, he's a salty boy, okay? He's very salty. He likes salt a lot. There's not enough salt in this world that I could give him for him to be satisfied. He needs the salt. He's very salt. So, he, he's not having it. He gets angry. Uh, quick story. This is gonna be completely sad, but, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, Bun, Bungugat, that's what we're calling him, because it's on my wall for some reason. It's like a, it's like a ticket thing. But my friend Bunguat, uh, on the first day would respond to this thing that uh, Bradley would say. Bradley would go, <laughs> and he would go, um, and then Bunguat would go, uh, yeah. So they'd do that every day, like, and I get a, yeah. And then he'd go, hiya, and we'd, uh, I'd, I'd call it their mating call, like, I'd make jokes to them, like, oh, this is your mating call, ha ha, ha ha, I'm a weirdo sixth grader, and, and, and they did not like that, like, one of them tried to punch me, and I'm just like, yeet, and kind of dodge it, but you know what, it's cool, me and, me and Bung, you and I, we're like best friends now, Bradley, Bradley's still a salty boy, but yeah, that was a weird side story. So yeah, then Bradley's like, oh my gosh, this kid, what is he doing? Oh my gosh, he's gonna kill those little kids. Mm, give me salt. So uh, yeah, he's like, oh my gosh, you guys are stupid. Those little kids will walk and, and they will fall. They will fall off the sheer cliff into the abyss, drowning in a pit of eternal torture. I'm like, chill out, dude. It's okay. Calm down. Go back over there and sit in the corner alone. And uh, he's not having it. He gets angry. His face, like, literally kind of turns red. You know, it, like, turns red. He, he is he is a salty boy. He just decided he hated me on the first day, and he's going to make sure that he hates me by the last day. So, yeah, we're just kind of chilling at the pool. He keeps telling us to knock it off. We're like, no, nah, I don't have to listen to you, old man, even though he's the same age as us. And uh, things escalate to where he tries to fix it himself. He gets his girlfriend to go to one side, and he goes to the other side. They kind of unhook it and try and fix it. And we're just like, ha. And we grab onto the middle and kind of, like, put our feet on the thing and try and, like, pull it back and don't let him. 
they eventually do get a fix. We just kind of let go and go over to the side and wait for them to go back to their seats. And then we go back and we uh, unhook it again. Yeah, uh, this this continues for a little bit, like him hooking it, and each time his anger level is gaining like maybe ten to twenty points. Like it goes from the nine thousand where he started to maybe twenty six thousand by the end of it, because he gets so mad that he literally okay. This is what he does. He this is what he does. I'm not exaggerating. Well, maybe a little, because I gotta get entertainment. But he grabs it and then he kind of like gets it and pulls it all out of the pool and like as he's pulling it out one of the kids goes and grabs onto the end and we're like oh my gosh we gotta help our brother timmy so we all help him we're like doing tug of war i get out of the water and uh i push him in it's kind of funny like they're all pushing they're all pulling like tug of war and i just kind of get out of the water run behind him and push him in he falls in everybody screams it's funny and then uh he gets really angry he does not like this like his anger level is going up very fast so he gets out of the water and uh he grabs the rope and there's this big metal hook on it that's how we were hooking it and he kind of grabs that and starts trying to whip uh like i think ryan's little brother like he tries to whip him and us and all of us with this big metal thing while cussing at us while there are a bunch of like little kids around he starts cussing at us saying that their lives are worth more and that we shouldn't try and kill him and that he's gonna call the police on us eventually i get it, i'm able to get it away from him before anybody gets hurt i put it back in the water and you know what at this point um me and ryan we just kind of set it back up normally but uh timmy timmy and uh Josh, I don't know what I gave his name, but he's Josh now. They decide, no, I ain't having this. So they try and put it back uh, to the diagonal thing. And he gets so mad. He continues cussing at us. He says, fine, whatever. I'm going to call the police for attempted murder. So what he does is he, he leaves. He walks out of the pool. And I'm like, bro, no, why are you doing this? Please, you're going to get in trouble. So he, like, walks out. He goes out the gate and sits down on the, on the little thing, like a, a railing by the stairs to get in and he like pulls out his phone and uh, I'm not sure if he actually called him he was like he sounded like he was talking to someone he's like I need people down here now these kids are gonna kill people and I'm like bruh actually what are you doing and he's just kind of talking uh I don't I don't know if they're actually calling it. it didn't sound like an actual conversation you would have with a 911 person or whatever he he said he was gonna call but uh he was just I think he he might have called them and then failed to get anybody because they're like no these kids moved a rope chill out so yeah, eventually he, he gets sit there, he starts getting frustrated at his phone, so then he puts it away, he screams at us uh, that they're coming, and then he goes and he bolts away as fast as he can. He gets on his bike and he just bikes away. Now me me and the boys, we didn't, we didn't really want to get out of here, we were just like, um, we don't, we don't want to go. Because we were on flip flops, we had bikes, we didn't have bikes, so we just kind of walk out and go to the playground, which is next to the pool, and we like sit down and watch him. And he's like biking away as fast as his little legs will take him, over the hill and down. And uh, that's... That's the last I've seen of him this summer. Uh, the police never came or anything. It was nothing really big. I, I talked to my dad about it, and he's like, nah, you couldn't get in trouble for that. You just, like, moved a rope, just some fun. And I'm like, yeah, true that. I know me. Why would they come over that? So, yeah, um, nothing really big happened afterwards. It was kind of just in the moment that I thought it was funny that Bradley was so salt. He had so much salt in his body that he would try and call the police on us for moving a rope. Like, what did you expect? He got the nerve to start cussing in front of, like, six-year-olds at us for moving a rope. What What is the rope going to do? Just strangle a kid? Or, or is it that they might fall down the 45-degree angle? It's, like, three feet down from four feet to six feet what are they gonna do with six feet of water but anyway i hope you enjoyed this story hopefully bradley will chill out not be such a jerk this year anyway i hope you guys have a good school year if it's starting now if it starts in a week good luck if it's, if it's already started i feel bad for you ouch but anyway i'll see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>